What's up, everybody? This is Jeff with Solve Systems. I am coming to you from Houston, Texas. A beautiful day here in Houston, Texas. And, uh, and I wanted to make this video because there was some, I guess, confusion around the last one that I made about a full solution barcode scanning app. And I wanted to just kind of break it down from the base layers to show how to uh, get it from a SharePoint list into a Power App. So uh, from the beginning, what we want to do is create a SharePoint list. It's done by going, uh, you know, you create your regular SharePoint list, and then you create your columns. I don't like using the title column because it gets very confusing for me. So I'm going to briefly excuse that. Okay. And then we're, we have our barcode ID right here. So I just named the column barcode ID. And the barcode, or the, uh, the column type, rather, is single line of text. So, super simple. Then, we come into, you guessed it, Power Apps. All right. So, we have our forms. Okay. We're going to bring in a nice form, clean form, by going to Forms and hitting Edit. It's a lot of forms. It's a lot of time saying forms and then we're gonna hit new. All right, so we bring in our data source. Okay, that's inventory. You see inventory here, SharePoint list inventory. All right, so we get a barcode ID, we get title, we get a few of these things. We're gonna just delete those out because we don't need them, okay? So within the, the form and then the data card structure within the form, there's a data card value. Right, so we're gonna hit that. Optionally, you can go here and click it. Just make sure that it's on the lowest one, right? It's on the, the most inner uh, card. And then we're going to go to advanced over here. We're gonna click the lock, and that opens this field up for our formula. So what we're gonna do on this formula is just simply, we're gonna bring in our barcode uh, scanner. So we go to media, then barcode scanner, and that brings in, that's going to actually, we don't want that to go into there, so you click off, you click the form as a whole, actually, we'll bring it up, that's what we'll do, yeah, so we'll bring our scan button in, and then we're going to click back on this uh, barcode field, so you see the name barcode scanner 1 here, and then we have our default value of data card 5. So what we're going to do is barcode, and as soon as we start typing it, it automatically knows, hey, look, these are the values that relate to those letters, and so we're just going to click barcode scanner, okay? That's it. I mean, literally, that is, that is it, and that's awesome, because this functionality used to be very difficult a uh, year ago, year and a half ago. It, it used to not be very good and very thankful that it is very good now because we use it a lot. So now we add another button and make sure to click off of that. I, I keep, yeah, so I want to click off of that. All right, so we have our button. We're going to name our button, let's go to text. And then we'll name this button Submit. All right, and then we're going to go to Properties over here. And we're going to make this thing green. Okay, super simple. Keep it simple, stupid, right? And then we're going to go to On Select. So On Select. We want this to so form to be submitted. Submit form, form three, right? Because it's form three. And then we're going to close this up, all right? So at a baseline, that's pretty much it. Now, you can do drop downs with all kind of other information that you want written back to SharePoint. But for the sake of this demo and getting started from a SharePoint list and bringing it into Power Apps, that's pretty much it. So we're going to write this, not write it, we're going to save it, rather. 
we're going to name this barcode scanner. All right. There's a big C right there. All right, barcode scanner. We're going to save. And then going to bring this up on the old iPhone. So we're going to we'll see it pop up here in a second. All right. So barcode scanner, I'm going to show you how this this bad boy works. Okay. So we hit allow, allow the camera to access our iPhone. And we have our two options. We have barcode, right? Our, our, our default field in barcode. And uh, then we have scan and then submit. So hit the scan button. And boom, it captures it that quick. That's amazing because, I mean, just think about the possibilities here. You're trying to create unique values tied to a record that's a pretty cool deal, okay? And then we're gonna hit submit. And then it's just gonna say getting your data. It's not getting anything, it's just pushing that back to SharePoint. And so we're gonna click over here. You see right here? Wow, that is neat, right? So if you have any questions on how to make that happen, let me know. I can do another video, I'm here to help. And I uh, am also going to do one on the web. Yes, the web barcode scanner. That allows you to use your camera, a web camera, uh, or the web camera on your laptop to scan barcodes, which is huge. Because if you have, like, say, our last example, guys capturing samples in the field and then people processing in the office, you can roll out an app for them in the lab to where they can scan these barcodes and look them up by the barcode number in the lab when they get there and they don't even have to pull out their phone. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any feedback for me, if you want any other videos or any SharePoint stuff or Power App stuff, I'm going to be doing some IoT stuff soon, show you how to pull in data from actual equipment, remote equipment, into Power Apps and doing cool stuff with it, uh, let me know. I'm um, anxious to hear from you guys, so hope you guys all have a nice, relaxing Sunday or any other day you watch this, and uh, keep on, keep on keeping on, and keep devin. Bye.